again, we're going to be going through a glenohumeral joint injection. And I'm going to show you two different techniques to this type of injection. Uh, one is medial with your injection, or the other one is lateral. So the settings that I have on the ultrasound system, I put in about 5 centimeters. I dropped it down to about 12 megahertz. And my focal zone is about 3 quarters of the way down the screen. Those are the three adjustments I made prior to the video. I'm going to take my, um, my model here, I'm going to bring her in just so that you can see how I'm positioning the transducer and the corresponding ultrasound image. So the first thing, the glenohumeral joint, this is going to be in the posterior. Um, this is not the anterior approach. That approach is also um, possible, uh, although it's uh, less favorable than the posterior. That's the one we're going to focus on today. So the way I'm going to lay my transducers, I'm going to lay it across the humeral head and it's going to be slicing in the transverse view. So if you take a look at the transducer in relation to her body, this is the way we're going to have it. So I'm going to go ahead and place it right over her humeral head where the joint area should be. One technique in, in, in a model like this, you obviously uh, can see it quite well. Now if you have a, uh, a Erlocker or a very, your normal patient walk in where you have a large shoulder and it's not as uh, prevalent. One way of finding the joint is walking off the, um, the edge of the acromion and as you dip down, most of the time you'll end up right on the joint and that's the view that you want. So here's the anatomy that we're seeing. And again, I'm using the, um, the, the I'm gonna have the patient keep the elbow next to the body and I'm just going to grab their hand and ask them to dance. Again, letting me, letting me take the lead. Uh, that's important because if you let the, uh, if you just grab the hand and, or tell them to move their hand, their arm goes all over. So this is a nice way of doing it. What I want to do is I want to visualize the humeral head, the infraspinatus, the glenoid, and the labrum. And I'll point out the structures in a little bit. Now again, ultrasound is dynamic. And the beautiful thing about that, it means I can have the patient move to help me identify the structures. So here I'm rotating the humeral head by grabbing the hand of the patient and externally rotating with the elbow at the side. And you can see the circular surface of the humeral head, the infraspinatus that is attached to that. So let's kind of review. Here's what we're seeing. The infraspinatus is coming off the humeral head, which is right here. The glenoid is right here, and then there's typically a triangular um, structure. That is your labrum. Not every patient you're going to be able to see your labrum. The next step is, once we've identified it, we want to take the patient and have them grab the opposite shoulder like this. What this is doing is opening up the glenohumeral joint itself and making it a little bit easier for us to actually uh, do the injection. The next thing we're going to do is once we get back in that view, all right, we got a nice view there, um, then we're going to take the needle and we're going to come in from the lateral side lining it up again in the long view so that we'll see the tip and the shaft of our needle and we're going to pop it in the lateral side. The area we want to inject the needle in the, with this technique will literally come over here. It'll go over top the humeral head and you can go right into or next to the glenoid. It's a very nice straight technique for doing a glenohumeral joint injection. The other technique that you can use is a medial injection approach. And that is again capturing the same view, which doesn't differ from the other one, and taking your needle from a medial side, so coming in this way and traveling lateral. In this view, or with this technique coming in this way, the patient can be in normal sit-in position, be comfortable, and your needle will actually travel this way and you can go right next to the glenoid or over top the glenoid right next to the humeral head and inject from that approach as well. 
Both are great, both work fine. Find the one that you are most comfortable with and use that. The glomerulohumeral joint injection.